Welcome back, everyone. We're going to be solving Leetcode 513, find the bottom left tree value. So we're given the root of a binary tree. We need to return the leftmost value in the very last row of the tree. So taking a look at example one, they give us a tree of two, one, and three. The very last row in this tree contains the values one and three, the, and the leftmost value is one, so we return row one. So this is going to be easier if we do a breadth first search. So let's import uh, our DQ from collections. We'll set that up. Q is going to be equal to a DQ, which will contain the root initially. And OK, now we can run our uh, classic breadth first search. So we will say while the length of our Q is not equal to zero. What do we want to do? We want to initiate a level to an empty array, and then we want to loop through the length of our queue. So for i in range length of our queue, what do we want to do? We want to grab the first node. So we will say node is going to be equal to q.pop left. Now all we have to do is check if that node is not none. What are we going to do? We are going to append the node value onto level. So we'll do level.append node.val. And then we will check if the uh, left and right children are non null. So if node.right is not none, what do we want to do? We want to append it onto our queue. So we'll do q.append node.right. And the same thing for the left child is not none, we will say q.append node.left. And once we exit this for loop, we want to append, we want a resulting array, and we want to append this level onto that resulting array. So we will say, uh, as long as we have items in the level. So we'll say, if the length of our level is not equal to zero, then we will say res.append the level. OK, so now let's print out our resulting array just to see what we have. And we have an array with uh, the level containing two, which would be our root, right? That's one level. And then we have another level containing three and one, which would be our uh, bottom most level. And in this case, since we appended right first, then left, our leftmost value is going to be the very last node within our last array. So what does that mean? That means we can just uh, return the very last level inside of our array, which is negative one, and the very last item within that array. So let's run this. And we do pass both test cases, so we'll submit. Perfect, it does run. So coming back here, time complexity is going to be O of n, right? We're touching all of our nodes uh, at least once in our tree, and the space complexity is going to be bound to the length of our queue plus the length of our resulting output. All right, that'll do it for Leetcode 513.